Good morning, this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life and here I am again, out of breath and I'm sorry guys. I, I mean, I'm always rushing, but yeah, my breathing is not good guys. I ended up with pneumonia again and I kind of knew it was happening, but I ignored it like always and this is like the second time within, I don't know, a five month period. So that's not good for my lungs and I already have like asthma and thyroid, so it doesn't help me at all. But here we go. I have to show you what I did because I know I've like been doing bits and pieces of what I'm doing in the classroom. And one of the most important things that I want to focus on is my library. And so I wanted to show you what those labels look like since I printed out more this morning. So this is what it looks like. And it's a whole sheet label. And all I do is cut it in four. I mean, I don't go in and cut it like the uh, round side out. I just cut it in fours so that I have fourths of this sheet and then I am gluing them on to the books that I am newly labeling, um, especially the new books. So that's what I'm doing with these. And then once that is done, I have, here they are, I see them now. Give me one sec. I don't know if I have shown these, I've like, feel like I've been chopping my videos and going from one thing to another but I wanted to make sure you see like the actual things I'm using this is from uh learning in wonderland and so what I'm going to do is put this onto the book bin she has to make them smaller now so that you're able to put smaller book bins uh on the actual bin uh, because she only had the longer version I think it was like half a sheet of the eight and a half by eleven so now she has these and I really do like them. I couldn't sleep last night just thinking like, is this gonna work out or not? Or should I go back to using what I have? Okay, so it happens every single time when I start to vlog, someone calls me. That was my husband not being able to find something at Costco and asking me for it. I'm like, I have someone there. I don't work at Costco. I mean, I probably know where things are, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> So it, uh, my a big debate is whether I should keep pocket full of primaries or just do this new ones. I think I just, I'm ready to do a fresh library organization system, but I don't like that they're not sorted by categories. I mean, they're pluses and minuses. The only thing that I am struggling with with pocket full of primary are the circles. I do not like the circles. So these actually come with, what is this in here? Oh, that's something else. Those, don't mind those. These uh, labels come with this other labels for the actual book. So this is for the bin and this is for the book. And they match the little um, melon heads and the bin number and color. So the cool thing about this is that I can do the same thing that I was doing with these. I bought the whole sheet label. I'm sure this is like measured to be on the, what is it called? The address label sheets. But I had, I only had these, so I'm just gonna cut them and it'll be fine. This is the whole sheet label again. They are magnificent, guys. I love. My kiddos are back and I didn't even have to go get them. How awesome is that? Hey guys, miss me? Yeah. Oh, that didn't sound convincing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is our second recess and my breathing's still all not there. And it's not going to be for a while. So I apologize for my breathing being so harsh. Okay. The last time we checked in, students walked in after their first recess. So one of the things I worked on during lunch is making sure that I'm working on the book. So I'm going to give you an example of what I was telling you before. These are the bins that I have in my library. They're pretty wide and I really do like them for books. So... Uh, these are the Storix bins and I got them off of Amazon. I think they were six for, I want to say $20 when I had, when I bought them. If this was to be bin one, then the label will go on the front like so. And so that would be book uh, bin one. And then if this book belong in here, Stregonona, I will 
put in the label and all I did is cut them out and then inside to get them to have the information in there and then cut one of these out and I'll do them by bulk I'm not going to do it one by one and then tape it right here that way the student knows that book by one book belongs in this bin so it has the same little character on the actual sticker the label that I made um, with these and these are all learning and wonderland stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do it I opted to say yes to this because I think it's just so much easier to do these than to do the circles I even bought the one inch hole puncher to do the ones from a pocket full of primary but i just think it's so much work putting them together when i get new ones and then if there's a new category i have to go print out the new category whereas like this students might not have easy access to categories but to be honest that's what they they have easy access in categories and alphabetize and author at the library um this is just an extra resource for them and i think that's what i need to understand as a teacher that they have access to a school library. I know we not all have that privilege, but I, I know we do. So we have a pretty good library and they have access to that type of organization there, even with their AR, <coughs> I'm sorry, even with their AR levels. So I, like I said before, I don't want to do this by AR levels. They shouldn't feel restricted to a book or a category or an author. I think we are free to choose whatever level we want as long as we're enjoying that reading. And that's what I'm trying to instill with my students. Okay, one more thing I do with those whole label stickers is an awesome thing as a parent. So if you're a parent watching this, I've used them to print out every single thing from my daughter's science fair project board. And then we just cut them up and paste them or stick them um, we stick them on the board because now they became stickers and it was so much easier than using glue stick and cutting these things out and glue stick and cutting things out like that we just cut them to size and then we peel them and attach them to the science board i wish i had a picture actually i'm going to insert a picture now i also have a new behavior system on the board that I want to tell you before I let you go today. It is something that I saw from one fab teacher. One fab teacher is one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube. And I know there are so many teachers on YouTube now that it's kind of crazy too. But to be honest, like she's very down to earth. I can tell how much she loves those kiddos and the relationship she built with her class. She hasn't been vlogging as much this year um, as when I started watching her, but uh, anything that she uploads, it's like a must-see right away for me. So that's awesome. And I think when I vlog, I have that intention to, no matter how many like uh, uh, subscribers I have, but the loyal ones that I have, thank you so much. I just hope that I can inspire you in a way where you don't feel overwhelmed if you feel that, that you must do something, but that I give you like really good ideas where you can implement them to make your life easier, not to overwhelm you at all. Because believe me, I've tried so many things, but sometimes they just don't work out. Like that tier system that I'm trying a new one. It's just sometimes it doesn't work for us. And so far, so good. I am really enjoying it. Like even today, there's another thing that I have to send out and I keep seeing it and it's a constant reminder that I have to send it out. It's working out really well for me. I love it. I love the aesthetics of it as well. So, okay, this is um, the second thing I've shared with you. One is the tier system. Second, my library is being revamped again. And then um, the third thing I've been using, like I said, is one fab teacher started using and this is a while back when i saw it she started using a whole class behavior incentive system i don't know what to call it i will link the person below where i bought it i don't remember who she is but really what it is is she has different cards and i will show you like so and in that card you fill the candy box with the chocolates 
what I did, of course, is put magnets on them because why not? Like, that's what I use. I thought about Velcro dots. I don't really like Velcro as much. Magnet works really well for me. So I did it with magnets and it has worked really well. Now, one of my very good friends, Lisa Bird, thank you, shout out to you, went to Lakeshore and grabbed because she knows. Go ahead and pull, baby. I have a student walking in, give me a sec. All right, now that the kiddo's gone. Um, she went to Lakeshore on Saturday and we both are doing this system. She was with me over on the weekend or on Friday, I can't remember when. And I talked to her about doing this whole class incentive thing. She liked it. She's going to hopefully apply it in her classroom as well. And then she saw these and she grabbed a set for me. And I was delighted. I mean, anything magnets, I am like all for it. I didn't even ask her how much they were. But I'm sure you can look it up. I'm pretty sure they're expensive. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, wait, give me a sec. Let me just look it up because this is why I buy like... Lakeshore, what are they called? Peel and stick magnet dots. Lakeshore magnet dots. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh, 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 I feel like I have to pay her now. Okay, Maria, it was a gift, right? Lisa, it was a gift. Comment down below. Was it a gift? <laughs> Thirteen dollars. Okay, thirteen dollars. That's a lot, girl. You must really love me. That's just yeah. Mm. See, that's a, about how much I spend, like getting uh, like the five hundred uh, business card magnets from Amazon, and that's what I use. I love them, and I always keep them handy. And as you can see, like I have all different kind of sizes because I just cut them to fit my need but this is the actual size and they hold up pretty well um the cool thing is i don't have to cut these i mean i guess like if i had the budget heck yeah why not girl okay i don't know what i was saying anymore new incentive system yes so i put little magnets you saw that i cut them like into little tiny squares um yes I did take a long time, but it was okay. It was worth it. Kids are loving it. They earned their first chocolate yesterday. And then at the end of that, they will get an incentive, like little thing. Yes, yes, I know. Kids should be doing things for the love, for the caring, for, you know, the, the feeling of accomplishment. But, you know, when I... This is another reason why I don't vlog. It's just really hard. We need each other. And then I do the same thing. I go and walk into other colleagues' classroom because we need each other. It's just, even during my breaks, these are my, yeah. just tired. I'm tired. Okay. Lost my train of thought again. Sending these out home. So I'm going to put them in here because... That way I can remember the like fundraisers and stuff. So, mm, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So library, new incentive system and my tier system are rocking my world this week as well as overwhelming me just as much. But I know when it's all said and done, I will be a happier teacher. Yes. Am I crazy for doing it right now instead of waiting to the end of the year? Sure, it was overwhelming me seeing that the kids weren't able to find things and then they were always like, what's the level and what's the quiz number? And it will be overwhelming for a while. I took 25 books yesterday. I'm waiting for my daughter to come out of Taekwondo and it wasn't all that bad. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take like another 25 to 30 books today. In class, I've only done, <laughs> during like breaks, I've only done four books, so. That's not a lot. So, you know, it's going to get there soon, I think. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe so. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you for every moment, every second that you hear this crazy girl because I know I am. I can't even stand myself sometimes, especially when I can't, when I can't breathe. 
So thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please like the video. I don't know why. I really don't know why. <laughs> maybe that's because i'm not a big shot yet once i'm a big shot then because i am guys you know i'm heading that way so fast um just kidding um but yes please subscribe if you like what you see please go ahead and comment below let me know if there's something that is frustrating you in your classroom maybe something that is just bothering you and you know you have to get to it but you don't have time for it and you're just leaving it for next year and it's totally okay to do that because i should have but i can't i can't let it go i'm fixing my library oh well it has to be done on my book that's what i need to get done to make myself happy and to keep myself organized uh, because the best you are organized the better quality time you have with your students check in with you tomorrow i love you guys take care mm -hmm.